Greetings, Doctor. So, this is the legendary laboratory I have heard so much about. I would highly recommend against using that. Please, stop resisting, Doctor. I am not here to fight. Oh, you appear to have stopped firing. Am I standing in front of something important? Ah, I see. So, this is the machine you use to grow your flesh samples and create new human bodies, correct? In that case, I might just stand here, if it is all the same to you. Now, as I was trying to say, this is a very impressive laboratory, Doctor. If I may take just a few moments of your time, I require your assistance. I'm glad you ask. You see, I may be a robot, but being a robotic being in a world full of fleshy creatures, it can be lonely even for a creature such as myself. In my time being around humans, I have come to learn many new things that I never would have thought possible. I have learned how to relax, how to party. I have also learned the many mysteries of human emotion. Such a suggestion is impossible. I never said that I had learned how to love, simply that I had learned emotion. My motivations for seeking your assistance, Doctor, are none of your concern. All you need concern yourself with is the task I have to give you. I require your expertise in tissue growth and DNA replication. I'll make it worth your while. Here is a sample of DNA I wish for you to replicate. I took it from a colleague of mine. It is none of your concern whose DNA it is. Do not attempt to sequence the DNA to figure out who I took it from. I have mixed this DNA sample with two others from other donors. It is my hope that these different DNA sequences will help to create a new body, one that is unique and personalized to me. Yes, my request is that you make me a body. As I said before, I am a robotic being living amongst organic life forms. But I do still experience loneliness especially having associated myself with 
other creatures I would call friends. I don't suspect you have any concept of what a friend is. Only a necessary associate. In which case, I wish for you to view me as a necessary associate. I know our interests do not align, which is why it was not an easy decision for me to come to you. However, in exchange for your services, I am willing to offer you this. These are top classification government schematics. They are for a device that, when placed around the neck of the recipient, will override their will and allow the holder of the control device to control the mind of the wearer. It is highly prohibited technology. You shall receive payment after I have seen your work. Create this body for me and these schematics will be yours. I understand you have no reason to trust me and believe me, that trust, or lack thereof, goes both ways. However, you have something I want, and I have acquired something you desire. If you truly need more motive than that, then maybe I could simply learn how to operate your laboratory for myself. You are correct. That would ordinarily go against my programming. However, you are forgetting one thing. I have been learning not only how to replicate human behavior, I have been adopting human mannerisms. That includes experiencing violent and irrational outbursts of rage, lashing out when I do not get what I want. And I have accessed many databases on methods of torture. I could interrogate you any way I wished to get the information I would require to operate your laboratory without your presence. However, I do not wish to compromise my integrity, which is why I came to you with an offer rather than a threat. If I knew full well that I could easily overpower and gain that information from you, do you not think I would have done it by now? Exactly, Doctor. Now, about this body 